if you would meet young young girls, ladies, boy, whatever, and what would be your advice for them in the future, taking into consideration all what we tackle, the technology moving fastly forward? I would say the one thing that people need to do as far as young people getting into any industry is to be very adaptable to change. So often we get stuck with this blueprint of how we see our lives and we're, we're stuck. The next 40 yeah, years. Yeah, the next 40 years. I'm yes. going to marry at 25, have kids at 30, do this at 35. Throw that out the window. I mean, we live in exciting times and I think there's so much potential to do whatever you want. And so I would say don't get too stuck and comfortable in the way that you're doing things. There's a real beauty to discomfort, and I think if you can embrace that, you can succeed as a leader in these new times. When I became aware that, I, that I'm becoming a man of triplets, I mean, everybody was asking, how will you do it? And it was the first time in my life, because I was already, already manager leading a lot of people, and then I was faced with the first time in my life to say, I don't have any clue how, how I will manage this. And what I learned is exactly what you were just mentioning. You have to take the situation how it is. You have to find a solution within the situation and then you move forward. So there's no manual that you get. No. I mean, I think that's one of the beautiful things. And I know we're sometimes afraid to talk about motherhood in the context of business. But I think one of the beautiful things about mothers is that we do figure out how to, to do it all. And most moms I know are incredibly busy and successful and They're wonderful leaders in their homes and in the office, and, and I think that's something we should all celebrate. So my husband, he took a bit of a step back in his career early on and, and let me go out and, and do my thing, and I think also that partnership is incredibly valuable. So working as a team. Absolutely, and having someone to support you. So it's not just about, oh yes, you know, I, I'm able to do all these different things, but the truth is I have a little you know team at home yeah. who supports me and who accepts that I'm traveling a lot, but knows when I need to be there, I'm there, and I think that um, little unit, I protect it like something sacred and I love it. So were you feeling this, that there was the expectation of your people around you that they expected more from you? I, I really did. I mean, I found that if I had one mistake or I tripped or made one little error, that I would be judged uh, more intensely maybe than okay. some of my peers. So what I did is I overcompensated. So in my 20s, you know, I worked harder than anyone else. I stayed up researching my notes. I made sure that I knew what I was talking about. I, I tried never to make mistakes mistakes I've eased a bit up over the years but I think early on I think that there was that pressure to uh, just you know exceed um, everyone's expectations I would never share that I was uh, that I felt tested what what I see in many talks with uh, younger people and whether this is men or women it's the same thing I always try to encourage them to say you know you have to believe in yourself and you have to get focused on this, what is important for you, in what you believe. Sure. So I think that's at least for me the key takeaway if I look back into my past. Um, as long as I stayed focused and I said, I truly believe in this, what I am doing, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I cannot concentrate too much around, then I was successful. Mm -hmm. And if somebody said no, yes, okay, I mean, never take a no for a no, just try it again and rethink whether well, you did everything in order to move it forward. So that's, that's my key learning. And this is what I try to say to the people. There is not a white knight coming, yeah, <laughs> helping you yeah, <laughs> uh, in the night, in the morning. So I truly believe in your inner force. I truly believe in your inner strengths. And as long as you stayed focused on yourself and you, yeah, okay. Although you get frustration because this was a no, you stand up again and you say, I fight for this. The best thing that's ever happened to me is that his grade three teacher told me recently when they had a career day talking about what they wanted to do. And he said, I want to be a tech entrepreneur like my mom. Ah, that's the thought, biggest compliment ever, right? It is the biggest yes. compliment for, you know, as a woman in technology, I've yeah. been in this industry for almost 20 years. Just to think that I have a little boy who in his family, he looks to me as I want to be a tech entrepreneur just like my mom. It's just a very incredibly proud moment for me.